I'm Regine Edegeen and this is lesson 2 of how to play the harp now. You learned lesson 1 and in this lesson we will first learn a song called Little Dance and after that we will continue to go on tuning the rest of the harp. Okay, first the tune Little Dance. I will play it for you. are down. If you don't have levers on the harp, don't worry, you can also play it. Tune it in the way I learned in lesson one. Okay, and we start with the central C, then G, that's five strings to the right hand side. the red string one millimeter thick. because otherwise your left hand will get lazy and doesn't know to play after some time. Don't always play with your right hand side, right hand if you're right-handed, but use your both hands. Okay, um, this was a little song. You can combine it with the song we learned in the first lesson, which is called Brian Barrow March. Okay, I will start with Little Dance and directly after that, the Brian Borough March. So then you, at the end of, uh, let's say, 10 lessons, you have a longer song, which uh, is a little bit longer than only 10 seconds. Good. Now, the rest of the tuning. You remember in lesson one, we tuned from central C till G. Okay. Uh, by the way, about the song, Little Dance, if you want to learn it, uh, I've written it down below this film. There is also a link to an online keyboard where you can see and hear which is the C, central C, the D, etc, etc. Okay, um, the central C we have tuned. Now we will go down as far as your harp goes. My harp goes another 15 strings down. 
We will start with central C. It needs to sound like this. Okay, you can compare it with your own harp wherever you are. <laughs> and uh, be sure it will sound the same by turning the tuning key clockwise or anti-clockwise. Okay, is your uh, string the same as mine? Fine. Then we can go on with one string lower at the left hand side of the red string, which is called the B flat. And on the online keyboard, it's the black key between the A and the B. Okay, tune it. Listen carefully. Tune it on your harp. If you need more time, press the pause button. No worry. Okay, next string. Be sure you have the right pin. Otherwise, your string will break. It's called the A flat. It's a nice tone. I love it. It's the tone between the G and the A, the half tone. Next tone is called the G. It sounds wonderfully in my ears should sound this way. Compare it with your heart, please. Okay. Then we go to the next string, the blue one or the black one. This sound. Press on the pause button and try to keep it in your ear and make your heart sounding the same. Next one called A, E flat, E flat. Does it sound the same? Next string, D, D. Okay, and then we're here again at a red string, and on some harps, it's a, a purple uh, looking string, like orange or sometimes black. It differs a little bit depending on your harp. But it is a, sure, uh, a C, definitely a C. It should sound like this. And it can be a nylon string, it can be a gut string or it can be a metal string. On my harp it's a metal string. Right, next string, even lower, B flat. Next string, A flat. Okay, you've got that one. Next one, what should that be? The G. black or green sometimes, black or uh, purple, uh, anyway, the color is different from the strings left and right from this string, so you can uh, see that it is an F. Okay, you can also see in, on your levers, usually those levers, those are marked with red and blue or red and black. So you, you will not become very confused. Next string, E flat. Right, and the D is the next string. Quite low. We're almost there. The last string on my harp, the lowest one, is called the C again. It has another color. In my case it is a red string. On your harp it might be a black string or an orange color. Anyway, it should be so sounding like this. Okay. This was lesson two with tuning. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. 
and I hope you, to see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye!